Hey there world, Andrew Goldman here guys. Today I'm gonna do the stream from my car because uh, actually I'm driving home. I wasn't able to do the streams lately uh, because of, uh, of a lot of work I've been up to. Uh, but I don't want to miss you out without the good push forward and the opportunities and the ideas that I have in mind that everything that can change your life for sure so I want to share some more of that guys you know that uh, management is one of the top one of maybe not even one of the top it's just, it's just a major thing in life because the management system is just that much important for any business Guys, I've been lately discussing some of some of the businesses and proposals and works with some of the guys from the market. And man, you know, you know that you're talking to a bad manager when a person gives you a phone call uh, and asks you why did she uh, at first? Why does she call you? I mean, like lady, <laughs> really? It just happened like that. You know that I had an, uh, an like a kind of offer going my way uh, so I made a phone call back after I received this offer and the person wasn't available so she phoned me back later like the next day uh, and when she called me she asked me why did she send me this offer and I felt like to myself Man, what the hell is going on and I know that this person is a director in the company in a European company so guys you know that some things are just <laughs> they're just like crazy and I would I would definitely take it easy if this person wouldn't be in the position of a director the top manager of the company but that person was in that position and when you are in the position of the top management it means that you have the responsibility and you have a way bigger responsibility than any other employee in the company because that's that's one of the biggest issues like in the today's top post on the Inc. magazine that I saw that 61% of the uh, CEOs and top executives of the companies they try to stay background they don't even have the social accounts and this is this is doesn't work just this just doesn't work this way anymore and it wouldn't and it shouldn't work this way and guys I gotta give, I gotta give tribute to Javier Camara uh, and the uh, Juanimas from BB because the guys are amazing the CEO and the president of the BB social network you know that the, they both are so active in the social networks I think they just basically and literally are kicking butts of every other CEOs in the market by doing that but just doing what they're supposed to do and that's awesome and I enjoy it I love it that there are people who like it so much and they enjoy their work so that management and all the employees that are involved into the companies uh, must know that uh, everything in the business, in any business, everything starts from the CEO of the company and the top owners. They're the face and they're the standards and they're just like the whole business itself. They're the spirit and the soul of the company. If those people don't believe in what they do and they're hiding behind the backs of their employees, the company wouldn't last. Sure as hell it might be earning some profit and making some money simply because maybe they made a great product or they bought it, but it's not lasting. And this is the idea behind the great companies. They last. They last for at least 10 years. And we can say it's a success on the market when your company's been out for 10 years and you're still on. It doesn't mean that you get a lot of profit, but at least you're still alive and you can just survive. So it takes, it takes a lot of guts. You know that most mostly I don't, I don't meet that many great managers fortunately I would love to I would really love to meet more of the high quality high level guys people uh, managers and I don't know the CEOs of the businesses who are more involved in what they do who are more dedicated to their goals or at least those who know their goals because that's another issue you know you so often we run into people who don't even understand what their goals are but they're trying to set some tasks before other people and this this just doesn't work well at all <laughs> it doesn't work well and and so often people are asking like why the hell is this company failing why they failed because they had such a great product and the employees were so much involved that, that's the that's the obvious reason maybe the company didn't even know what the hell they were doing so talking about the high quality managers and the top CEOs 
guys, you know that everything starts from you, and uh, you are the business. You are the business, and the employees, they're not the people who are supposed to come there and change everything. It's, not their, it's actually not their task. It's your task to be that person who is changing everything, uh, doing some implementation, updates, improvements, who decides which kind of product should there be. This is you, and you're the face who should be telling about this, not other employees who don't understand it and, or, or who don't carry the value or responsibility about that product. So it mustn't be that way. And at the same time, man, I gotta tell you, when you are that person and you're dedicated, and I fully understand that it's, it's, it's a hell of a job, it takes a lot of time, it takes not only guts, but responsibility, understanding, intelligence, uh, thinking, you gotta uphold the stress, you gotta work out through everything. Yeah, you gotta do that, but this is the entrepreneurship world. This is what business is all about. And at the same time, guys, don't, don't try to push some, when you delegate, your work and responsibilities, never delegate them to people who are not dedicated to your work. Because I mean it so often, and it happens so often, man, that like the HR managers, they're losing on it so much because when they are trying to hire a highly high level professionals for your company, they hire people who are not dedicated and who are not uh, motivated to do anything. They are people who just used to do it. And is it okay for you to get a person who is just used to do it? What if I told you that you're, you're gonna have an, a used to do it wife? Just a normal kind, nothing special, but the one who did that before. I'm not sure that everyone would like to have a wife who already used to be a wife for somebody else. And how about the husband like that? Are you okay with the okay husband, normal one, who used to be a husband already? No freaking way! People don't want that. And you just think of that. that so often in the companies, we don't want people who, who are not dedicated to what they're doing and who don't believe in their job, but we just take them simply because they've been doing the same crap in other company. First of all, you gotta ask yourself the question, why these people are leaving those companies then? If they're so great, why are they leaving? Just to get more money. If, if that's their motivation, they're not gonna work for long. They will leave it sometime. Obviously, especially if you want to rise their salary. Man, this is, man, it seems to be so logical, but I understand that, you know, that entrepreneurship is changing that way of thinking. And I really encourage almost every top manager who is working for the big company to become the owner at some point of time. And that would, that would increase your understanding of the business 10 times at least and uh, that's this is the great upcoming that's what you're supposed to do because when you think about business like business owner it's a different set of mind totally different it's not like when you are hired to be the even when you're hired the ceo and you're not the owner it's a different set of mind because you don't really value the product at that time and you're just like trying to uh, work on the tasks that you receive and uh, just to uphold the goals that you get and nothing else. But when you're the owner and when you have that thinking of the owner, the world is different. The world understands you because you understand what stands behind it. And you care about people, you care about your customers, you gotta care about your employees, you gotta help them grow all the time because so guys those who will be surviving in the future because the world will be changing it requires flexibility it requires dedication it requires knowledge and it requires strength it requires spirit and it requires guts and those who don't have that and not to mention the contribution that you must be doing because if you're not doing that and you're not contributing to your employees or your customers you're failing you will be failing and it doesn't matter if you're successful right now, you will fail in the meantime. Maybe not today, maybe not even in the coming year, but then the competition will catch up and you will lose your market share, then you will lose your overall revenue and then you will lose your profit. It's obvious, it happens, it happens every day. It happens to most of the businesses. So to be the best manager, you gotta have that thinking, you know, you gotta, you gotta feel yourself like the entrepreneur you got to understand what it is to be the business owner. 
not only them, when you got that understanding and you when you got that feeling and you're dedicated to your goal and then you can be successful as a manager, as a top manager, or any, any kind of manager at all who's managing anything. Yeah, I know. I'm sure that you actually met that situation when uh, somebody asks a person in your company, like, could you support me in doing this? And they're saying, this is not my responsibility. I don't have that as a responsibility in my responsibility list. I'm not going to do this shit. Man, get rid of those freaking people right now. You either get rid of them or teach them how to properly operate within a team. Because this is not the teamwork. And that's the, that's the, under, that's, that's the idea and the understanding of the, really, uh, of the company with the high values. When all of your employees, they're just like getting rid of their stuff and helping somebody who's asking for help. That's the difference. So if you want to be the different, if you want to be a different company, if you want to be a different kind of manager, the top of the world, and there are fewer of them, and you may think that you are a great manager when you kick butts all over the place, but most probably you're not. And most probably you won't survive for that long. So you gotta be the one. You gotta become the one. You gotta teach yourself to be the one. You gotta learn, 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 and freaking learn. Never stop learning and contribute. And contribute as much as you can, more than you know. If you're freaking scared that you will hire a person who is more talented than you are, you're not a good manager. You are a terrible manager if you don't do that. And most of all, you don't have guts if you don't do that. This is the idea. And I really believe in that. I really believe that people should be uh, dealing with more talented people than they are. Because they will help you grow. You should grow and you should help them grow. Open their, open their talents, not push them down. That's the difference. And that's the difference that leads us to success. And that's where everyone wants to be. But only few get there. So be among those few who get there and make the difference. Andrew Goldman, have an awesome evening.